In this Stray Facts conversation, we're talking to the CEO of the Craftman Agency, Gina Miknowich, about how they were able to incorporate a successful campaign for the movie Cruella, not only in terms of social, but incorporate offline elements as well to make it a more robust, successful campaign. Let's get in and see how they did it. When you're with clients and you're trying to get to best project them, uh, I know we spoke about uh, speaking individually, uh, but do you almost silo? Uh, uh, this is how we're going. We're going. We're going to work on TikTok in this specific way. We're going to go after these particular types of influencers versus, say, if you're going uh, on other platforms uh, like Twitter. Do you actually silo the, those uh, influencers that you're working with, the specific content uh, that you're working with? Um, and I, I, I guess in uh, additional wrinkle to that is how do you mix in paid with that or do you mix in paid with that um okay i'm gonna unpack that a little bit um <laughs> so if we if we think about um if we think about a campaign like let me because i think maybe it's easier if i talk about a specific campaign so um we talk about corella for instance um corella was you know it, based on what it was showing to have, you know, audience wise, we knew that we had our general audience. We knew that we also had, you know, a big drag actually audience. Um, and some, you know, some of the, um, you know, we had dogs as an element because that was really tied to the film. And so, you know, so when you kind of broke down some of the storylines for Corella, you, you could figure out like what kind of content was going on Disney channels and what we were going to do for influencers. And that's when we, you know, we originally had a, a different idea for the, for doing something with chocolate, but then we ended up coming with the costumes and doing the costumes and sending those to influencers and press. Um, and because those, those costumes were so fantastic, we felt like that was a good, a good pull through for Disney um, to show on Disney Eats and also on the film's channel. On the film's channel, we were showing here's, you know, here's sort of the comparison. Oh my gosh, doesn't it look exactly like Cruella? Um, and then on Disney Eats, we were showing here's how we worked with chocolate and we showed the behind the scenes. And so that's a good example of you have one activation or one tactic or one beat within the campaign and sort of looking at how is it best to publish it. Um, and the artist published it um, on her channels, but she didn't have a huge following. So we wanted her to do that partly because we thought she was so talented. And that is that is part of the benefit of working with an artist is giving this exposure to some of these up and coming talented artists. And then from a Disney perspective, it really told the story. Um, and then we did that with the dogs as well. So, you know, we had, we had dog influencers creating their look <laughs> and, um, and also working with, because costumes were so big, doing a sustainable. Um, so we gave a costume designer, designer daddy, we gave him this challenge to basically create one of the costumes from the film or create something, you know, akin to the film that felt like Cruella and do it with all sustainable. So using only what he had in the house, in his house. And he was able to create the garbage truck um, dress. And that was a fantastic, and that got cross promoted as well. And so that's a good example of how you have this story and you're pulling out all of these different touch points and you're publishing across all the channels. And that sounds like, obviously that it, that campaign was not created in, in a day. Uh, no, uh, it's actually less time than you might think. <laughs> really? Yeah, I think actually for that campaign, we had two and a half months, which is a long time for us within for those windows. And um, theatrical moves that are in, in, in home move at such a different pace. Um, so, yeah, so that actually was a lot quicker. Maybe it was two, but we felt like that was luxury. And then I didn't answer your question about paid. Um, we do mix paid in, um, but for a campaign like Corella, we are not, um, we are, you know, we don't run media. Um, and so that is really the agency, another agency. 
um, that runs it. So we might help create content for them um, so that they can they can post on on paid. Um, most of the time for something like a minute to fix it or, you know, one of those things for like one of our clients that um, we created a game. In those cases, we will promote organically and we will also um, we all, will also boost with paid and have some, you know, some sort of direct response type of um, type of effort as well that's associated with it. As if you're not doing the social platforms just want you to uh to give them money. So they're trying to make organic dead so they can make their pockets bigger. Uh, in order for organic to work, you really have to put good storytelling, real a good strategy and two months to get all of that coordinated. I, I know that's a little bit time to be able to breathe, but that is a pretty, that is not a lot of time to be able to do execute everything from A to Z. No, no, it's not. <laughs> and especially because a lot of times when we're working with a creator, we're going to, you know, we had the benefit of working with designer daddy, but the chocolate artist, um, she was drizzly was, she was new to, to us. And so we found her as part of, um, as part of the pivot in the campaign. Um, and so it, it is all hands on deck. I mean, we've got a very, very, um, not all hands, but we have quite a, you know, we have a very, very solid team that really jump in and we we have our process down very well so so when dealing with somebody that because uh, that's also a risk too like if you're dealing with an influencer that's bubbling up it's a really cost effective up on your part but that's also are they going to be able to tell the story that we hopefully want them to be able to tell too oh yeah well we um, a hundred percent i mean but our process um our process when we work with a creator is you know, we, we get the concept from them. We sort of, you know, talk through it and then, um, you know, may have any changes, um, that we have, and then it goes to the client. Um, and, you know, we really try to have the creator be as true to themselves, but it has to be good for the brand too. So, um, so it really is a process where we're able to make sure that the storyline, but we do give kind of, here's a couple of points that we want, um, or here's what we're thinking for the concept that, you know, kind of your guardrails, if you will. Um, and, and we find that the relationship is really, you know, great for, for the most part, and we're able to create a standout piece. Yeah. I, I like that you're, you do give them space to breathe because people can smell authenticity. Yes, they can. 